going back to lawyers looking over your scripts since I am doing this interview for a law class, um, what are what kind of things are those lawyers looking for maybe as far as censorship or ethics are concerned? You know, that that's a good question. And it's complicated. I'll give you I'll give you a great example where I learned how complicated this was going to be in the, in the pilot. We did the rough cut for the pilot. We had the recreations in. The lawyers come in, and very luckily, very luckily, believe it or not, here in this small town outside of Philadelphia, the law firm, the big law firm in town, was a law firm for Rodale Press, which, which does uh, Men's Health and, and Prevention Magazine, and also it was the law firm for the uh, Tribune newspaper here in town, now a Times Mirror newspaper. So the lawyers there uh, had media experience. And so when they came in to look at the rough cut, they were familiar with these, these issues of what was legally permissible and what wasn't top and bottom. They weren't some guys who were doing car crashes one day and, and divorces another. But they walked in, and the very first thing they said to me is, did you know that there's a body of law that, that allows some people who would testify at trials to become private citizens again, and you can't use their name? I said, what? He said, yeah, that's right. You have, a, you have a woman in this show who you name, and you're actually showing, uh, and, and she was having an affair with a killer. And that affair led, led the, the wife finding out about the affair led the man to kill his wife. And I said, yes. Well, it's been 10 years, and it's about that time where she is going to be able to argue that she, she should be a private citizen now, and she can't use her name or picture. And I said, that is the craziest thing. But anyway, that was the beginning of, well, we're obviously going to have to consult you guys more often and um, see what we can use and what we can't use. The second issue became... Um, what can we use from the evidence file and what we, can't we use from the evidence file? Um, what, what can we use stuff that we got from the scientists that never made it into trial? If you notice Forensic Files very carefully, very shrewdly, by the way, if, if you listen to Forensic Files and if you listen to the script, you'll always say, prosecutor said. We didn't say it. We're not saying this is what happened in the crime. We're saying the prosecutor said this is what happened in the crime. The prosecutor said this in the court. Okay? This isn't our version of the crime. This is what was presented to the jury. These are the pictures that were presented to the jury. And this was the verdict of the jury. And sometimes you'll hear me say the defense came up with their own version. What's really interesting, though, is at times when we would find out, because we were actually shooting and doing the crime, it, in the recreation, we would find out that the crime wasn't done the way the prosecutor told the, told the jury. It couldn't be done by one person, or the person couldn't have done these three, they couldn't have reached the, whatever it would be. And then it was like, oh my God, now what are we going to do? So things got complicated in many cases, and uh, then we had to figure out what we were going to do.